Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the 66 podcast. I'm your beautiful host, Fatima Loashun, and today we're going to have a juicy topic on kindness. We're going to talk about all things being kind and being unkind to people. And today on my couch, I have my beautiful guests, Jesse, Lisa, and hi. Elle. Hi, hi. <laughs> so today, we're going to be talking about kindness, guys. Before I even go into that, you know, how are you guys doing? How are, how are we all feeling? Are you kind to yourself today? <laughs> You've been kind to yourself. Okay. What about you, Lisa? I'm great. I'm all right. I'm marvelous. I'm fabulous. Nice. Yeah. You look it. You look. You look amazing. Mm. <laughs> what about you, El? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Full stomach, so I'm. I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So, on today, we're talking about kindness. You know, what does kindness mean to you guys? What does it mean to be kind? Let's, let's talk about it from the biblical perspective. You know, what does it mean to be kind? Well, how does God show kindness to us? How do we show kindness to God? How do we show kindness to people? Huh. You know? So. Yeah. No, L will go first. Yes. <laughs> Professor it's, L. For me, kindness is just putting yourself in someone else's shoes. I think how kind you are is is a reflection of, you know, how how emotionally concerned you are about people and how much you've gone through yourself. Because sometimes you might not even be trying to be unkind, but just because you don't know what that experience feels like, it could come over as being unkind. So, yeah. Mm. So, would you say, like, kindness and empathy are the same thing? I think they are. Yeah, um, I think so. But I think kindness I think is the action of empathy. Or com- mm. compassion is the feeling. Okay. Kindness is like acting it outwardly. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. So, how do you show kindness to yourself? To myself? Yes. Ah, uh, <laughs> I take care of myself now. I'm I'm kind to myself. I leave situations that I know are not good for my mental health or even physical health. If it's not a must, or my day my house, I just play PS Five. I day all right. So I take care of myself. I don't, I don't, I don't stress myself mentally physically you know unless i have to because if i have to work i have to work but you know i i do take care of myself that's really nice what about you lisa um i think when you say kind so you're doing things that that i mean i'm doing things that'll be better for myself in the long run right so i think there's a thin line between um kindness Mm -hmm. to myself and um doing things that are good for you so i don't know how to put it but would you say i'm not kind to myself when i'm not eating right yeah so you're not being kind to yourself mm. oh i see okay i've not been kind to myself <laughs> but wait though but if you are enjoying the food at that time is it not being kind it's, it's a need it's Said like she has not been no, no, eating so in, i mean health is important for me yeah. really so if i'm not constantly trying to um not joke with my health basically yeah i'm not putting cautious efforts to be healthy does that mean I'm not kind to myself? You're not being kind to your yeah. body. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I think I've not been kind in that aspect. Um, in terms of growth for myself, I think I'm always looking out for opportunities that would help me grow. Um, to learn. I mean, I literally like learning things that pique my interest. So that I would say I've tried. Um, in terms of relationship, so it's expected that I am the kind of person I'm expecting people should be to me. So I'm also trying. There are, I mean, there are some great areas that we need to work on. So, but I'm trying. But I, th- I, I think I know one thing that I've not exactly been kind to myself about, which is my health. Um, I really, I don't like food. So I eat because, so the reason <laughs> why we, <laughs> that's what I'm looking hear. for, looking at him it's like, sad to hear. Eat, you're committing it's to sad to hear. What <laughs> thing well, am I committing? I'm kind to myself and my Happy stomach. kindness to you. Mm-hmm. But I don't eat because I just feel like, what? is what kind of, why would you just pick food and say, oh, you want to be eating? I mean, I'm not, I'm just eating because I don't want to fall down yeah. and yeah. die. 
but to be honest, but there's a thin line between eating and gluten. Like, no, I, 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 no, I, I actually, actually agree eat. with Lisa. I don't actually. In the aspect that I feel like, as human beings, this is just the theory that I have. we eat too frequent. Like, why do you have to eat three times a day? I wish we could just eat one heavy meal that, that will, that will take you to the everything. next day. Because I'm thinking of why what to eat. To eat. Why, why do you think your body, your body cannot If we were designed that way, would you have known? If we were designed to eat once a day, you wouldn't know. How about goats that will eat and then bring you back in the evening? I wish it was like you just eat well in the morning. Once you eat well in the morning. It should take you. Luton. Yeah. And wait, too. Oh, maybe ah, I'm forgetting for something. Fresh, mm-hmm. When I want to eat, mm-hmm. and now it's like the world is going to end tomorrow. Well, th- you're still not being kind I to like, your body. Because okay. your body needs to go through a certain hours to digest. Yes, it, mm-hmm. there's a digestive yeah, if process. It's morning, that goes, digest through no, the No, 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 no. I'm just no, sir. Your kind to yourself. No, sir. Be I'm kinder to yourself. <laughs> eh, eh. No, if there's if there are like compartments, there's, there's a way no, God can do it. You don't have two stomachs. Ah, yeah, ah, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's okay. What about you? Okay, so for me, kindness, I would say it's just you being selfless. You being selfless, you being able to do stuff, do things for people, caring, actually caring for people. Yeah. Like what you're saying, putting yourself in people's shoes to be able to understand what they are going through. That's my guy. That's my guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Say she eat too. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Kimi, <laughs> that's how they, like, how they make noise. <laughs> yeah. I got one thing right from this conversation. I have a question to ask everybody. So, I think there's a thin line between kindness and people pleasing. Do you guys mm. think? Oh mm. yeah, definitely. Because mm. most of us tend to think that you know a lot. I feel like a lot of us interpret people pleasing as being kind in one way or the other. So. How do how are people able to like differentiate being kind when they are being kind and when they are trying to people please this particular individual? Mm. And you know when you are just trying yeah. to. Yeah. But some things are default settings, though. Some things are default settings. Yeah. Uh, are you shading somebody? Mm. Yeah. I agree. You get better for mine. Whoever you get better shade for mine. Let it out, bro. Let it out. Mm. Let it out. Mm. Let it out. Mm. Mm. Being kind is just expecting you to be Okay. Okay. Mm. So can someone give us a scenario of when Jesus was kind to us in the Bible? What's to, what's coming to anybody's head? To being us? kindness to anybody in the Bible, you know. We're well, not in the Bible. Were you in the Bible? Were you there? No, I wasn't. <laughs> I, I wish I was. <laughs> Were you there? Uh, well, I don't I can't maybe you can't remember. You yeah, I can't remember because people say they live twice, no. But I think the, the story of the of the prostitutes that was you know, that was caught. No, not prostitute. She was, she was caught in adultery or something. Yes. Yeah, and then they wanted to stone, stone her. And her, then yeah. I think Jesus showed a huge amount of kindness. They're not, you know, even though it was like a trick question and it was a trap, but I think he showed an enormous amount of kindness by not participating in that or condoning it. Yeah. Mm. So I think that was, you know, even though she was doing something wrong, he still did not participate in that kind of Do you of think action. society is kind today? Do you think we're still practicing that um, spirit of kindness? Are we kind? I'm um, no kind though. You know, kind. You know, especially <laughs> no with social love. media. I think there's something about social media that makes you feel like people are just numbers. They're not human beings. And mm. you just say what you want, how you want. And like, mm. 
things that you wouldn't say to somebody, you know, face but face. it feels like it takes a bit of our humanity when you're online and it's just a profile picture or sometimes not even it might be somebody else's picture there. So it doesn't feel like this is a, this is a human being I'm talking to and you just hurt people, especially emotionally. Like we are not very kind emotionally in this, this generation. We, we, we harsh. Say it it is. Yeah. <laughs> And then we say, yeah, it's a Gen Z thing. <laughs> 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 no, it's all the Gen Z babies. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Apologies, oh Gen Z. <laughs> Apologies, I'm deeply sorry. Don't cancel our podcast. Know, <laughs> Don't cancel trendy. me, please. But, you know, mm. yeah. So. It's there, oh. It's there. It's there. We are together now. Okay. Please switch the shot to white, white, so they can see all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Um, what's the kindest thing you've done in your lifetime? Like you can think of, what's one kind thing that you think? Mm. Mm. But if we say it's kind, isn't that now people pleasing? Because we were uh, doing, no, you now know. it's to share your testimony now. Testimony, testimony of kindness. <laughs> testimony testimony of kindness. <laughs> I think I think I'm kind. Um, I think what I actively try to do is because I didn't really grow up with my with my dad. Like I lost my dad when I was really young, so I didn't really get to meet him on his personality and i feel like growing up a lot of young people struggle with the absence of a male figure because i know i struggled with it like i made decisions that maybe could have been fine-tuned maybe could have been better and especially when you're a boy it's like you want to be a man too soon and then you don't have a man that's telling you how to be a man it can be very tricky and i think a lot of young people go through who don't have those like a father figure in their lives go through those kind of things and i feel like i'm very i have a soft spot for people in those kind of situations and i'm always willing to like support help in any way that i can like it's a conscious thing that i try to do always when i meet young male people not i I haven't been i not like i'm not kind to of female but i haven't had a female um, scenario but like i i always try to like give advice whatever way i can help really i just try to because i know i know the gaps that i had i know how it feels i know like even the ones you might not notice and i just try to do what i can Kindness, you? kindness, kindness, kindness. Um, I just take it from the little, little things I do on the road. So, entry the bus, and then you have somebody who can't pay their fare, all this kind of little, little stuff. Um, um, notice a child who is not able to go to school, not to go to school. Um, that, I mean, in the morning when they're trying to leave, I'm also leaving at the same time. People are in the same keke. You just try i mean that sometimes i get the um the intuition to actually pay for this person do this for this person Mm -hmm. so and you do that without having to consider or whether they're going to pay you back or in any Mm -hmm. way or something like that you just because at the end of the day they are more like they are so helpless so they're just looking at you like this and they say you're just looking at them back like this yeah Mm -hmm. okay so these are the little things i think i have done and also um um when you do things when i do things for colleagues and friends without having them i mean i'm always i'm I'm good at the surprises actually so they don't know this is coming for them you're good and at surprises what 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 is it lisa surprise what? me lisa ah. lisa lisa my mouth is like tap immediately i buy it i'm so excited like guys i did this kind thing for you no. <laughs> No, like most of the time, not all actually, mm. but most of the time, I just want to see how happy they are because I would have checked that you actually need this thing. Mm. So my my goal is actually to actually get you that thing so that I sometimes I do it anonymously. But the goal for me is to make sure that you are happy and you are you're all right. And I'm not doing that um, out of um, money that I don't have. Uh-huh. So I would have budgeted for it so that it's not look like I was cost my day because I want to please somebody. Yeah. So yeah. So basically, that's it for me. For me, mine is I'm always very much interested in the way people look at my work. That's for sure. Okay. I notice certain things in the same time that people are wearing a bad shoe or trying to do something about it. Fashion police. Just dash me some now. Yeah, so I'm always interested in people. Mm-hmm. If I can't give something at the moment, no, some people might actually know I have these thoughts, but don't just know how to do it. Mm-hmm. You have to for things like this. So I just help you. I will mix this one to do this before I'm like, or if like, this is the case where you have, you're wearing a bag or something. So, 
That's really nice. Yeah, How have cool. I been kind? I've been kind by just, you know, trying my best to show up whenever you need the support or whenever you need something and if I can provide it, you know, I definitely will. I think I've also um, been kind by... I have this ritual that I try to do at least once a year, just give back to the community that I'm within, you know, however we, if it's donations, if it's whatever, yeah. you know, just try to give back a little bit and make them know that, you know, you're not forgotten. Mm. So I try, I try, you know, yeah, do all I, those I know you try. Cause nitty gritty I, things. I know, like, cause I think I've, the past couple of months that I've known you, you've actually volunteered to do a couple of stuff. Okay. And yeah, I I don't think you even remember mentioning that, but mm. that's also kindness. So. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, um so have how has like I've, has people been unkind? Has it ever when people are unkind to you? Has that ever like tried to change your perspective on how you view kindness? Maybe Jonas are like let's say people have been unkind to you for like the longest of time everywhere you're going this person's unkind this person's unkind especially in nigeria now like people are just moving Man. people are just moving like they don't care they don't they don't have any like not a lot of people have that consciousness to think ah what i've done i hope this person does not feel mm-hmm. you know does that has that ever got into a point where it feels like you want to change yourself or change your perspective and be like me i'll not be kind to so, you know let's give tit for tat, you know, how do you handle those type of situations and how do you move past those type of frictions, basically? Yeah. For me, I would say no, because, like, me, naturally, I really know what to You know they send. I know they send because I believe you can tit for So if you train yourself not to really rely on people or expect things from people, mm. you don't know to do look normal to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Should I just take all these things as normality? Wow, that's a lot. So I don't think it's a point where you can do it. What about you, Mama? I think you're an angel. <laughs> 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 because uh, cause I mean it's the normal thing to do is actually what you said to put your expectation up front so that when people begin to come you, you can absorb all of this yeah. but this country the people it. in this country I mean to me it's, it's a learning process and a, a testing ground at the same time and also try to see if you will still be kind despite what the, I mean the world is moving mm. mad and Nigerians are moving mad so there have been, there have been cases where I have been kind to someone and they did something and I'm just taking her back. That if not because of that thing that I give you now, that I've collected it back. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like I've been there. I've been, I've been there like severally. Because yeah. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Like, what what's what is this behavior? So it's um to me it's it's I'm still learning to be like you. Mm-hmm. But we're trying. Like we're literally mm-hmm. trying to not hit somebody one day. Mm. I think me, no, I think my own, my angle is how people have received kindness from me as they're, they're, they're like, even generally, like I heard a story about like, um, somebody wanted to do fix the road in one community and then some thoughts came and they were like, Oh, before you fix this road, you have to pay us money for even fixing our road. Now, wow. So you get, yeah, you have to say, like you have to settle the area boys first. Before you oh, help them, that's so, why I said this so country. Yeah. Like this country, I'm to be nice to you. Are so stressed exactly. To so the way people receive kindness sometimes can make you feel like, uh, is it worth being kind to? Because sometimes you be kind and say, yeah, this one is a fool. Let's use this person. Sometimes you are kind and it's like they don't just receive it correctly. And then you, yeah, they're exploiting. They think they are playing, have playing a smart one on you. And then you're looking at, uh, will I help be kind to the next person or not? And that's the only place I've struggled. But what what has been kind to me, I don't really care if you're kind to me or not. It doesn't change my personality. Or even or like the stories that we hear on Twitter when um, somebody will come out and say, oh, they've kidnapped me, blah, blah, blah. And then the whole of Nigeria is looking for how to rescue the person. 
that this person should not be kidnapped. And then you find out that that person scammed all of us. Guy. How about those ones that would donate? After you've donated money, donated money, and then somebody will just run with the money. Yeah. Like, and, and it's you see, just ridiculous. You see tweets so, under that tweet, you see people saying things like, when the real people now come outside, yeah, we will now yeah, be like, oh, should yeah, we help this person or yeah. not? Mm. So... You might be that somehow. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's what I struggle with when it comes to kindness sometimes because mm. people can, well, people will think they are using you and it's, it's just terrible. With all the unkindness that Nigeria has showed all of us, mm-hmm. how do we, how do we still try to be wow. kind to this country? <laughs> mm, we are trying. Me, I'll say I'm trying, Sha. I mean, to get to a point where you just not me that killed Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's, it's really hard. In this country, it's really, really hard. And looking at the way things are going, we are the ones that, we, I mean, we are the ones doing and undoing ourselves yeah, at the end I of the day. Agree. So it's it's hard. That's why we have to be praying for the grace of God because yeah. it's, it's really hard to be kind to Nigerians. It, it is. Yeah. So it's also it's, it's, question, is what has been happening in Nigeria? Now, um, the ways we draw the POS, <coughs> I want to draw thank you for mm-hmm. collecting well no i don't think, yeah. I don't think so because at the end of the day you also have to be kind to yourself first because i feel like with how with how I've gotten to understand certain things, you have to be able to point to yourself before you can point to any other person. And so if you are not pointing enough into yourself, like, guy, I go give you an empty tank. Mm. Do you understand? Like, it's just going to be empty. So I feel like the person also has to understand that yeah. if this person could, they would. Yeah. You know? So, and yeah. in this moment, they can't. So yeah. I don't think it should be unkind to them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God is going to Mr. Forgive. Kindness. <laughs> So to round up the episode, I would just like for us to give a word of advice. We live in a crazy country. You know, how can we as a community spread kindness into our communities and how can we encourage our communities to keep being kind to one another and to Mm. outsiders of the community? So, yeah, that's my next question. Elle, would you like to go? Jesse, would you like to go? Okay, I'll take my advice is you don't know what that kindness or how far that kindness Okay, I have, a, I, have a, I have something to say. What about people that have never seen kindness? Because there are people that have been born in the deepest of deep of Nigeria. They've not, nobody has ever been kind to them. You know, even let's give examples of all these slum children that, you know, they are begging to eat. And I'm sure most of them don't even know what kindness looks like. Yeah. So, but, but you notice whenever you do something for someone that actually needs that thing, mm-hmm. it's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's that expression on that is very, very good. And that should be enough satisfaction for you. So, even being kind, you are not. But if you've never seen it... No, but I think you're talking about material kindness. I think kindness in service, they must have seen... There's no way, like, somebody hasn't... Kindness in service. Yeah, like, you know, doing stuff for you. It's not just about what I'm giving you in terms of food, clothing, or... It's like, you know, if I help you, if rain is about to fall and I go inside the rain to help you pack your clothes, that's kindness to an extent. So everyone has experienced kindness to an extent. And, I, I mean, kindness is like, if you know what makes you feel good, and you do it for others. That's being kind. And like, I feel like somebody at some point, where did they give birth to you? Nobody has ever done something like that will make I you disagree. feel good. I still feel like I disagree because Nigeria is a very classist society. If you want to, if you want to put it, mm. we're classist in we're classist in this society. You know, mm. everybody makes it seem like if you don't have money. You know, nobody is going to be good to you. Mm-hmm. Also, make money so that nobody yeah. chats anything. So, we can't we can't say that. Um, we can't totally dis um discard the fact that these people have assigned kindness to material things. You know, because oh, okay. we do live in that type of society. Yeah. You know, th- people are being nice to the people that drive the nicest cars, wear the nicest clothes, and mm-hmm. we dis- discard the beggar by the road. So, I don't agree with what you said on. Some people genuinely 
don't understand. Okay, let's let's even say that somebody has shown them kindness by packing their clothes or picking up something. Yeah. But then, do they understand that to be kindness? Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. Like, mm. they they might not classify that to be kindness until it becomes maybe a material thing. So you disagree what them? I'm saying? Isn't that on them? Is that's on them? That's on them. Yeah, no, it's like, not, it's not, I don't think it's, it's not. It's that's being kindness. Because mm. it even gets to the point where it's actually a psychological disorder where mm. kindness is repulsive to you mm, because okay. all of their lives they've ne- never seen anyone do anything for them mm. so by the time you are kind you're like wait you're actually doing something that is abnormal literally for them so we actually have people that feel like you being kind to them i mean it's really repulsive i they don't like it i think we should put this in context because mm-hmm. you have parents now, you have brothers, you have ah, sisters. The Nobody. Children, I don't get. It's possible. Ah, it but is, you me, see, say there is a problem I, somewhere. But you people are talking your like parents, you don't see Nigeria. Your, how it no, is. but I'm, I'm, I'm just saying we can't say this okay, for a okay. fact. Let I don't believe you, there's anybody in this world that hasn't there received is, a form of kindness. Nobody, somebody changed your diaper. Somebody did Hold something. On. But then, if it's you about if you perceive it as kindness okay, or not. Because you're bringing parents. Mm. Orphans. The people that are taking care of you in the orphanage home. Is it not? Are they, they are, not being kind? Let me even give these children you to. a case study. I hope you know that. A case in point will be a child. Okay. And we have them in this country. If we have to go and do research, I will, I will join the people to go and do the research. We have people that were born and then they were thrown out. Like, they were literally like, Mm-hmm. As, as a child mm-hmm. you found them on the street mm-hmm. maybe somebody picked them up mm-hmm. and they took them to orphanage home they got to orphanage home it was not like it was an orphanage home. maybe it was one baby making machine like that and then that child grows up and is kwashoko and the likes for some reason the child grows up to maybe three or four that child is raped boy or girl and then moves on and on and on like that and um, st- maybe still in that orf- orphanage home and they are maybe they are using them to do all manner of things. Literally, mm-hmm. they have somehow subconsciously taken that as a form of living. Should I now come and say, I want to give you clothes, I want to give you book, I want to give you whatever things I'm going to give you? At the mm-hmm. end of the day, it does not even get there for some of these orphanages. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't get there. So there's a child like, that is act- has actually probably grown to over twenty years of age that actually not experienced anything. Somebody giving them stuff, rather they've been using them and using them and using them. We mm. have such people. Go so if you approach yeah. such persons and you are being kind, we even watch it in Hollywood. They'll be like, you know, they, what is this? Yeah, thing? I think now that you've put in, this story, it, it brings a bit of perspective and I'm forced to agree to an extent with the yeah, Have possible. you guys watched Shantytown recently? Yes, I have. So you, you, are you telling me that those type of people don't exist the in thing is, The thing is, it's still a matter of context. In little pockets, mm-hmm. somebody... I'm not saying it's good, but even in the service they were rendering, I don't want to mention it. Mm-hmm. Someone could have tipped them extra cash. That's kindness in that context. Or they will take it, take it as... So, like, as in, in smaller context, you must have received really? kindness. It's, impo- it's hard to believe that nobody... It's I you now you. recognizing it as kindness. That's the thing. Do you get... After they've taken advantage you could of have, you. You could have... Um, what? You could have <laughs> Pashoko. You could have... Wherever you could be blind, that's the nobody. But the person that helps you walk, at least that's kind. Like it depends on how you see it. Really, I don't believe nobody. Okay. You just live your life. Okay, <sighs> oh, check yourself. Small. Okay. Thank God for. I still maintain kindness. my stand. <laughs> Me too. I still maintain my stand. I don't think. Yes. But like, I just want to ask, like, how important is is kindness to like spreading the gospel? Like, how important is it to be kind? I feel like it's on... Personally, I feel like it's underestimated. A lot of people feel you have to go hard. You don't need to show any... And then there are people who, before you get to them, you have to come with bread. You have to come... You have to meet a need before you reach out, you know, with the gospel. I feel like sometimes we want to serve people this hot, 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 hot. Like, how important is kindness in to our community in helping us spread the gospel to that community? Preaching the gospel and proof move beyond the stage or the century or whatever where you just bear <laughs> yeah. something to proceed just from there. People face problems. Yeah. Recognize the problem in the society and yeah. just, just even the yeah. chance of it to first solution to it. Yeah. There's no how do we listen to whatever you yeah. say. Mm-hmm. Show concern, you bare minimum. Guy and you're like, you know what's up now? Have you had anything to do? Mm. Or you know what's up now? 
you actually watch this, they are just lazy. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. Kind of kind of words. Yeah. They look very nice. Yeah. They shoe. That alone, that alone goes a long way. Yeah. That already mm-hmm. starting a conversation with that person. Just yeah. Just being kind to them. Yeah. And whatever you say to the person, just listen. Not like, you just I walk walking and say, bro, take track. Take chat, come that church, you will change your life. Yeah. <laughs> I think Jesus was extremely kind. Yeah. 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 I don't even I don't even agree with you calling that strong. I think this is even stronger. Like when we say strong, we feel like hard, physically looking hard is what strong is. I feel like meeting emotional needs is such a strong it's like you put such a strong feeling in them that they want to hear you more. Mm. And I think Jesus was, ex- he was Extremely fantastic kind, at that. Yeah. He was really good at that. I can imagine that prostitute is coming back. I can imagine the woman by the well coming back. I can understand why the, the guy that sneaked to his, the, the high ranked guy that sneaked to listen to him. I can understand why all these people were drawn to him because he's kind, he's welcoming, he understands you, he knows you, he wants to speak with you. And I think, for this generation, sometimes we lose. Sometimes it's like, hey, don't be a part of them. We are different from them. Just give them the gospel. We are not here to be nice. We are not here to, you know, <laughs> for best way ever, you won't come give me gospel. It is Thank worse, you guys yeah. so much. I really, I learned a lot. Thank you for all your amazing knowledge on kindness. Please be kind to me. Oh. Mm. Please dash me money. Be kind. Lisa, Lisa surprise me. Surprise me. You're good at surprise. Oh, Lisa, surprise please. me. Don't surprise. Don't me. Ding, don't I, don't. I can send you my account details. That's no longer a surprise. <laughs> I've already told her what to do. But I can send you mine. No, in case. Thank you guys so much for blessing my couch. Yeah, and thank you guys also for um, tuning in and f- don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. The 66 Podcast. And, you know, have a great one. Please tell my audience, bye. Bye! Bye.